Nice to have your company. The search is underway for clean technology companies who are looking to drive their success for national or if indeed global expansion. The Australian Clean Technologies Competition indeed offers mentoring business planning and investment strategies from some of the best minds in business. Let's get more with clean tech advocate Dr. Mark Newson. Warm welcome to you, Dr. Newson. When Thank we you. talk clean tech, tell me what it means in a sentence. Uh, environmental technologies that are aimed at our existing sectors in the economy. Um, you might have a water management solution that's geared towards the mining sector. You might have a uh, waste solution that's geared towards the agricultural sector. And, and what are the most pressing needs as identified by, I suppose, the Department of Industry, Innovation, Science, Research and Tertiary Education? You're going out on the hunt, but have you got a sense internally as to where Australia needs to move on this to get first mover advantage? Well, we've got some very focused strategies around uh, teams geared towards the mining sector, the manufacturing sector, um, and we think those are the areas where Australia's low-hanging fruit resides. Mm -hmm. uh, regional Australia is very important for this, uh, for this competition because uh, that regional Australia tends to support a lot of those sectors. Tell me about how all this ties into the United States. Is there kind, some kind of synergy going on with, with what we might be developing, with what they have a head start on? How does it work? Um, basically, what we do, we provide a competition open to any uh, startup here in Australia. Uh, there are 30 finalists. Those 30 finalists get tremendous profile. Then the winner uh, goes to the US and competes in a global competition. Mm. And what guarantee is there that, that when it comes back, are they tied into <laughs> returning or do we say goodbye and it was nice knowing you? Well, the commercial benefit of this program is profiling. And so in the case of last year's winner, uh, SMAC, a, uh, an air conditioning uh, technology, uh, they have, since the competition, secured 90 contracts in Asia. They've got a contract for a hospital in the USA. They've got local contracts in CBD uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sydney. Um, so uh, it, it's very much about contracts of customers as well as investors. And how does that, what percentage of those funds flow back inside to our economy? Difficult to say. Um, obviously from a point of view of, of SMACs, I imagine those contracts are their technology being exported mm. into those overseas regions. Yeah, I, I suppose it might be difficult to say, but if the Gillard government's stumping up nearly 60 million in cash, it's important to know that that money isn't just going out the door, that a percentage is flowing back the other way. Uh, yes, um, but look, I don't have access to those statistics. Um, mm -hmm. The role is very much around industry development and uh, profiling is a tremendous commercial benefit for any clean technology. Um, mm -hmm. If they didn't have the competition, uh, they would probably have to fund this for themselves and that takes years. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of trips overseas to raise their profile in international markets which are much bigger as well as local markets so it's yeah. a way of grabbing that attention. Which universities to your minds jump out as beacons of R&D at this point in time? Who, who's really got a stole and a march on everyone else or are they pretty much all even Stevens? No I think it's uh, depending on what uh, industry you're coming from. Um, University of Queensland has a lot of great R&D focused on the mining sector um, uh, the uh, mm. universities in Canberra have some great technologies focused on a, on a range of different applications and of course New South Wales has done an awful lot on solar. Mm -hmm. and just a brief final thought, you know you talk about tailored mentoring which is part of where this award yes. will take the recipient. Are you concerned as, as it were at the, the dearth of local mentors? I think there's an awful lot of uh, talent in Australia to support this. Um, and, and it's really a question of connecting the, that talent with, with the clean techs. It's, the, it's just a great divide between the customers and the, and the clean techs. And, and the best way of, of us sort of bringing this um, and making this work is for to basically visit the site www.cleantechopen. That's one word, cleantechopen.com.au, mm -hmm. and uh, making an application over the next five weeks. All right, the clock is ticking. We wish, recip uh, I suppose, applicants all the best, and thanks for your insights. Thank you very much. There you have it, uh, Dr. Mark Newson, there, a clean tech advocate.
No less. Let's move on.